So now that we have uh, ambient occlusion, light map and flat color and normal map in our uh, uh, Photoshop file, we also have this uh, basis for uh, valleys masks and peaks and edges masks created. So we're going to create a mask and apply a color to it and let's see how we can do that. We just turn on uh, the layer and go on the channel and holding control and click on RGB and then control shift I to invert the selection going back to layers and we can turn it off and now under layer new fill layer solid color OK and we can uh, choose a color that we want these indentions to be uh, colored with so just it's a perf uh, personal preference but just make something that you like and then OK and here you have a new color fill layer and the best thing about this is that if you double click on this you can always go back and change the colors of this layer so let me show you for the pics again turn it on channel control click on the RGB control shift I to invert the selection going back to layers turn it off layer new fill layer solid color OK and now just use something you wish to have in these parts so the same for the edges control click control shift I going back to layers turn it off layer new fill layer solid color OK and just select the color well, as we see here we didn't uh, invert the selection so if you do that if this happens just select the mask and control I and as you can see we have uh, this and then you can play around with the multiply overlay and just maybe turn it down the opacity and this is all to be uh, uh, set in Photoshop so if you don't like it you can just turn it off or just play around with some settings and see what works for your file and after you're done we have to s check the seamless of this texture so go to the top layer and control alt shift E so everything that was visible is now merged in the separate layer and go under layer no filter other and offset and offset it by 512 by 512 because our file is 1024 1024 uh, large so you have to make a half of it and then just go in and see which of the parts are needed to be um, fixed so we just need to fix this this and this because these are overlaying each other and these dark parts can be left alone because they are they are the edges between these uh, subtools and as we can see we have some vertical but it's not that uh, visible especially from far if you have this for a game then this vertical line is not an issue so let's see how can we can quickly fix this we just go here to what is this tool spot healing brush tool and we have to have content aware turned on and just select a small brush small size brush and then just click and sh hold shift and click and drag and it will fix it and the same here click shift and drag and as you, as you can see you can really easily fix these issues with uh, these seams well, I didn't want to do that so to, f uh, to set it again control F control F and say if you see the freaking seam you cannot see it so this was my tutorial of creating uh, seamless textures in 3ds Max and 
ZBrush and Photoshop. So I hope you learned something new. Subscribe to my channel, check out the rest of the videos and till next time. Bye.